the parking. Mm -hmm. We got to talk about the parking because here's my what I look at the parking. Mayor Daly has leased out the parking. Mm -hmm. Mayor Daly has contracted with a foreign company, a Spanish organization. They are allowed, I think I understand it, they are allowed to add 10,000 parking uh, spots. The Spanish company leased the Skyway, not the parking. Oh, not the parking. It's, meters, no. it's a different company? They formed a new company, Laz Parking, L-A-Z Parking, okay. which is all Mayor Daly's friends like Avis Lavelle and oh, others. Oh, so when I heard it, so... These are local guys and gals who are a part of that, the leasing. And where did they get the money? Well, it was financed, as I said, by uh, Mayor Daly's brother, Bill Daly, who was the chairman of J.P. Morgan Chase. <laughs> so the deal was put together with J.P. Morgan. All local folks. All you know, Mayor Daly has Patrick Thompson and his other uh, uh, nephew, uh, Daly, Patrick Daly, I believe his name is, who is um, who are attorneys, both working in, in different firms. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, all of this, again, just like uh, Mayor Daly's son, Patrick, who is now in Moscow, Russia, mm -hmm. he moved over there. Uh, he had the uh, no-bid sewer mm -hmm. inspection contract for $17 million that his father didn't know anything about right, that he right, got to right. uh, video inspect sewers in the city of Chicago. Right. Or his nephew, uh, Vaneco, who was partners with Allison Davis, uh, President Obama's former boss at a mm -hmm. law firm that he worked right. at. Uh, they got $68 million from the city pension funds to buy real estate, uh, speculated in real estate hoping that the Olympics would come here. So that's in that Washington Park area? Well, it was on the, in the Gap area, south side near uh, oh, where the Michael, hospital. Michael Reese Hospital, right, Michael as Reese well hospital. as south right. of that, as well right. as the Douglas Park on the west side. Right. And, you know, there's speculation about uh, uh, people getting overextended. Michael Scott was heavily invested, the late Michael Scott, who committed suicide, unfortunately, was heavily invested in these land speculative uh, deals. Uh, so there are, there are a lot of things that went on here uh, right below the mayor's uh, nose that he claims to know nothing about that uh, the taxpayers of the city and the county uh, should not be happy about. Right, well, that's the other thing. They raise the rate of all the parking. They put these uh, automatic kiosks, they're calling right. them. They're taking out the meters because it's cheaper than not to have the meters. But I understand they're allowed to add 10000 per month for the next three years. So eventually every thoroughfare mm -hmm. in the city of Chicago will have meters. That's right. There will be no free parking. They installed, uh, I think, a 30% increase in the number of meters, you know, on streets that nobody even goes down. Right. Where you have no houses, they right. put meters on right. because right. people used to park and take a train. Exactly. Or work, uh, go right. to work and park They want cars. them to pay. They now. want them to pay. Right. And they doubled the parking rates. Now, starting uh, January 1, 2010, the rates are going to double again so to park downtown at a meter, it's going to cost you twelve dollars an hour, or some not twelve dollars an hour, but the six dollars an hour. It's going to be very expensive. Right, yes, right. yes. So what is it? And how about the business people downtown Chicago? They're getting killed. Their businesses are being killed by the parking, by the sales tax, which is the highest in I mean, the if country. You're going to buy, if you're going to go shopping, even after lowering it as as we did by one half percent, exactly. which took me a year and a half to get my colleagues on the board to support. Even now that we brought it from 10.25% to 9.75% sales tax, we're still the highest in the country. Right. And the conventions are not wanting to come here. Right. We have the, one of the highest real estate taxes. Uh, we have not only uh, the parking problem, but we have all of these fines and fees that the mayor is charging for the business license, for the awning license, for the alarm license, for the, you know, you need a license to buy toilet paper and install it. Water taxes, liquor taxes, cigarette taxes, amusement taxes, parking taxes. We are taxed to death here right. because we have corruption and inefficient government that is driving business and people out of Cook County. So should we just be ready to move? Is no, it... we're not ready to move. We're going to stand up okay. and fight. Parika.com. We have the Twitter account, twitter.com slash Tony Parika. We have the Facebook so we use all methods, robocalls, email blasts, to get the message out that they're getting robbed. Getting robbed and they need to stand up and take individual responsibility. It takes one person in right place and one time to get, to get something done. And if we get enough of us citywide and countywide, we can change the face of politics in Cook County.